Hi everybody, Colin Singer here. Today I want to talk about the startup visa program and particularly the growing processing delays that many are seeing in this stream. Recent government information indicates processing times of 31 months for applications under the startup visa program. Prior to this recent release of information, applications were being advertised by government as taking only 16 months. It took the government quite a time to correct the reality of longer processing times rather, instead of the misinformed uh, information that was uh, being presented to candidates. The 31 months that's being advertised currently is in fact what we think is the highest end that could likely can be associated with this stream. The reason for that is that the government of Canada in its latest budget has allocated $2.1 billion just for processing permanent residence applications over a five-year window. Uh, obviously, the reason for that is growing delays across many silos, and that's related to the fact that Canada has really increased the number of, of, of permanent residence admissions in its uh, planning. The numbers have significantly grown over the last two to three years. Obviously, you need the ammunition to be able to deal with those increased volumes. And uh, the good news is the government is finally uh, committing itself to allocating such budgets. So we think and we're hopeful that what we see for startup visa of 31 months currently is something that will move downwards as the inventories are uh, cleared in this particular stream. For those who are considering going into this stream, there are solutions that you can look to to obviate and uh, address the permanent residence delays of 31 months. There are work permits that are available, as some of you may know, that are available to applicants who are considered essential. And that would be indicated on a commitment certificate that the applicant is deemed essential for this project and there are urgent reasons for this candidate to be given early admission under a work permit. These work permits are submitted under the International Mobility Program and they are given to people who uh, can demonstrate that they have the certificate, that they have the funds to settle uh, temporarily, and they have funding to run their business while they're here. These permits are renewable. They're issued for 12 months. They would allow the applicant and accompanying dependents to come to Canada as well. And the partners of the spouses of the main applicant would be given open work permits. It's important that these applications are very well documented in terms of providing the necessary comforts to immigration authorities as to why this, this work permit should be issued. Uh, processing times can generally be expected to be under six months for these kinds of uh, work permits, but there's a caveat that you need to know. If you're going to draw upon this tool, you need to be careful that you're not going to be inactive when you come to Canada. You can't be using this uh, tool and come to Canada on a work permit under this program and ultimately not do very much with your business. That, of course, will be uh, red flagged and you can expect uh, if you're an applicant and you do uh, come to Canada under these earlier work permits, you do want to be able to provide evidence of your activities in Canada. And of course, if you're looking for a renewal after 12 months, you're going to have to show and justify uh, why a renewal should be given. Uh, obviously, the inactivity would be a red flag that would most definitely cause concern. And we've seen case law where permanent residence applications have been refused for applicants who really did not deliver as they promised in terms of becoming active in their business when they're in Canada on a temporary work permit. For some applicants, the decision will be made, do we apply for the work permit before submitting permanent residence or do we apply after permanent residence applications have been submitted? These are important strategies when you're working with your immigration attorney, uh, uh, your immigration professional, these are very important considerations to look into on the timing of when these applications would be submitted. There are other options for you uh, under the Startup Visa Program. That's a federal program. 
there are provincial programs that are involved in the start of visa ecosystem. Alberta, Ontario, and Quebec each have their own SUV programs, and they each have work permits associated and attached to those programs. So it's important to look at those uh, options as well uh, if you're looking to come to Canada in, in a shorter period of time than the current delays of 31 months, which again, we do hope and we expect them to come down as processing uh, resources are allocated to this stream. There are additional options that you can consider. There is another work permit that's available to applicants even before they go into a startup visa stream, and that's a significant benefits uh, work permit which can also be given to candidates who have a concept and have not yet submitted applications for permanent residence, but they want to come to Canada and start up their visa with working status. And if you have the right, rec the, the right qualifications, you can look to the significant benefits work permit option, again, as a possible pre-permanent residence application. Uh, for some candidates, it's a very interesting option. Of course, there's also for some candidates, you could consider coming as a visitor and having significant status, significant uh, period of time on a visit business visit status for you to come into Canada, uh, depending on where you're coming from. Uh, some candidates may not need permission to visit Canada, depending on their nationality. If you do need permission, depending on your nationality, coming here and getting a work, uh, getting a temporary visa for visit would allow you to be in Canada for the time you need and move freely out in, into Canada. And while you're working on your business, uh, obviously a lot of this is done remotely, uh, you would technically may not be working under the uh, general definition of what constitutes work. Uh, so visit status could be an element for some people uh, who um, may need to draw upon that option as well. These are important considerations to obviate, to counterbalance the lengthy processing times under startup visa. Again, we are hopeful and we believe that those processing times will move downwards as they used to be uh, with a bit of time uh, and of course, with the resources government is allocating to this very important component of its immigration program. Like our content on uh, social media, follow us and look forward to our next presentation very shortly. Thanks for following today.